Hello and welcome again to our continuation of the round table with committee chairs. And uh, my name is Dr. Jay Hoffman and I currently serve as your secretary of the Missouri Athletic Trainers Association. And we decided as the exec board, it would be important for us to participate in this process as well, because for some of you uh, young aspiring leaders, you may find yourself uh, wanting to pursue uh, an opportunity with the executive committee uh, as well. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, you know, my role as secretary in that. So just to start off, uh, again, my name is Jay Hoffman, and I serve as the uh, Department Chair of Athletic Training Health Sciences, as well as the Program Director for the Masters of Athletic Training at Culver Stockton College. Uh, so I've been teaching uh, for quite some years and serving as a program director for, for, for many of those. Uh, I, I did come up and start in the in the traditional setting, working as an athletic trainer, and then uh, segueing into or participating in a dual role uh, at the time, which was teaching and doing athletic training at the same time. And then eventually, I uh, found myself uh, full time in the classroom. I believe it's going on about ten years now, where I've been a full time uh, faculty member. I've been serving in the role of secretary for going on my third year now and we'll be uh, holding elections here before long and so uh, I'm hoping that I'll be continuing on in that role for another three years. So that kind of moves us into you know what does the the secretary do? Well we, we do have as as I kind of previously noted there's three I'm sorry there's three year terms and there's two consecutive renewable uh, terms and so you can serve up to six uh, consecutive years. Uh, you know, not so much a purpose and a mission so much as kind of roles and responsibilities that are uh, delineated by our bylaws. My primary responsibility is really a record keeper. And uh, this can uh, include such things, but is not limited to uh, working with the president on the agenda, uh, obviously keeping minutes and records uh, of any meetings or, or that agenda as it goes through. Uh, helping facilitate uh, the order uh, of the of the meetings that take place in terms of determining motions, seconds, uh, and counting and tallying votes on that uh, for determination of, of passing of said uh, motions. Uh, it should be the keeper of the bylaw as well as identifying those individuals who chair committees and or uh, uh, making sure as to the length and term of those committees. So again, it's just primarily kind of a, a, a record keeper. You're going to see uh, some correspondence from myself, pre uh, predominantly in the form of, of e-blasts uh, in, in the electronic age, very little in terms of snail mail uh, anymore. But then, uh, and then too, uh, since the uh, establishment and, and really the the taking off of social media, you'll see me work closely with our public relations uh, chair as well. So kind of why did I choose to get involved in general? Uh, and kind of where did I get my, my, my start or is my path to this particular committee? Uh, I was very fortunate to work with some wonderful professionals early in my career. Uh, a couple shout outs, Kathy Schneedwin, Diane Bartholomew, uh, particularly on the leadership and educational uh, side of things. But uh, aside from those two individuals, you know, I was, again, I've been very fortunate to be around uh, athletic trainers that have been active in the profession and that they saw leadership as important. And so they encouraged me to get involved as well. And as a young professional, sometimes it can be daunting and or uh, even intimidating and, and trying to figure out where you should start. And really where that started for me was just moderating. So it was uh, at the NATA convention and the Mid-America Athletic Trainers Association meeting, the, the Iowa Athletic Training Society meeting at the time, and later on into Moata. Uh, it was just volunteering to say, I can introduce a speaker. That's something very simple. It's in my wheelhouse. It's something I can do. I can be a room monitor. I can help tally the number of uh, persons that attended a meeting. I can even help facilitate some of the IT uh, side of things. It was just simple task things. And it was through that, I was able to establish uh, relationships and build professional networks that allowed me to later run uh, for other offices. Kind of my, my first big break, so to speak, in committee work was on the Young Professionals Committee, uh, which again was a part of the Involve and Evolve. You'll hear me reference that a couple different times uh, in other interviews with other chairs. 
and it was important in the, my evolution as, as a leader. It was something that got me involved uh, at the district and at the national level. It allowed me to uh, get involved in the JCMs of the joint committee meetings, which really allowed us me to uh, network and interact with all the movers and shakers uh, in the NATA, uh, going down to Dallas and, and doing those things. So all of these were just kind of like these stepping stones. So it started with the YP and then it moved on into, into public relations. And, uh, and then from there, uh, it moved ultimately, at, and that was all at the district level and at the national level, and then it then segued over to the state level, because what I learned, particularly uh, during my time in the Public Relations Committee, is really uh, most of the things that happen at, in athletic training really, really happen at a grassroots level, especially as it relates to legislation and things like that. Things that really, truly impact the athletic training profession happen at the grassroots level and the state uh, level. So, um, you know, I, I took I, I, I didn't step down, but after I served my terms at the, at the district level, I then uh, ran for secretary uh, in 2018, and I've been here with, with the state uh, ever since. And, you know, and then, you know, why particularly the, the, the secretary's role was, A, because it, again, I felt it fit into my strengths uh, wheelhouse, something that I could manage, and then it also allowed me uh, to get actively involved uh, and state leadership, which was important to me and my particular development. So in that kind of the last piece here, they ask us for, you know, kind of one advice, what advice would I give students or young professionals that are wanting to get involved, where to start uh, and how to get involved in leadership. And I think something similar to what I just said uh, is important or, or my own experience is important is one, if you have a professional take interest in you, reciprocate that. If they see those talents and strengths in you, make sure you honor that by following through on it. Uh, take advantage of those opportunities, you know, approach those folks, ask about how getting involved and be willing to do the little things. Uh, be willing to step out there, say, how can I help? What can I do? And it may not be real glorious to begin with, but you don't have to have big fancy titles uh, to make an impact on, on the athletic training profession, your patients and ultimate and the association, whether that be the state, the district or the national level. Uh, it, you know, uh, it, it really takes, it takes many hands to do light work, right? So uh, the more people you get involved, the easier it is to take care of a said task. So just getting involved and doing the things that you can do and doing them to your absolute best ability. And whether that starts off as moderating, whether it starts as stuffing bags uh, at a meeting, uh, you know, or that goes into serving in a committee and ultimately even at, in a chair's role, but just be willing to serve. And when you do, do it to the best of your ability. Don't, um, don't think about what you can't do, but think about what you can do and what is in your wheelhouse. And while I spoke to strengths, also be willing to step outside the box. So like if I use my own experience, you know, public relations, was not an area that I thought was my strength. Uh, however, again, through the urging of a peer, uh, a colleague, someone I respected, they said they really felt it was something that I could do and it would be something that would serve uh, the district. And so uh, I tried and that was something I, I did. Do I, do I wanna say that I was the best public relations chair there was? Uh, the answer to that would be no, because I know there's folks that are better than me, but I learned a lot. And I'm going to be able to take those skills with me uh, and, as, and help at the state association level and even in other athletic training advocacy uh, uh, events and or activities. And while it was a big learning curve in that particular committee, it's usually a learning. What I learned is it's a learning curve for all athletic trainers because we're not marketers. We're not social media experts. We're not, you know, we, or I shouldn't say we are typically. There's some of us that, that, that are and we serve in those roles within our respective organizations. But be willing to step outside your comfort zone and you may find yourself stretched and even learning even more. And, and you'll be surprised where that will fit in kind of down uh, the line. So uh, in closing, I hope uh, by sharing a little bit of my experience as secretary and some of the other leadership roles that I've served in at the state district level, and even talking about how to just kind of get in, get your, uh, get your foot in the door and getting started will help you someday uh, in, in the, the only way that, uh, that you cannot get involved is by choosing to not get involved. And so uh, just going out there and, and, and be willing to do the little things, I think that you'll find that you'll get your leadership um, ball rolling and that you will find yourself uh, hopefully 
more engaged and, and participating even more in your profession and you'll find it more rewarding. So thank you for your time. And again, we really appreciate you taking time in these round tables and learning a little bit more about the various committees uh, in the Missouri Athletic Trainers Association.